gotta rehearse my song. <laughs> oh, what the do 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 What's good, everybody? Well, I am here at the KT up here in Minnesota. I am on my way to uh, Northfield, Minnesota with this load very quick. And um, I would have made it there. would have made it there, man. I, I am so sorry that I didn't get a chance to make it there, but I'm still doing... I'm still doing good, so I will have it there in the morning. Good to go. Let's get these bastards. I'm only, I'm only about an hour away, so about the time I drop it off in the morning, of course I'll get me another pre-plan that'll probably take me back down to Ohio. So, but yeah, that's that's my routine every day. I mean, I really wish um, tonight's video, right quick, is a little video that I want to put together before I before I head off to sleep. Um, I'm on my computer, as you can see, uh, going, you know, looking at YouTube videos and Facebook and Instagram and this stuff like that. You guys want to get at me? Get the best way to get at me is on my Instagram. Um, Lockout man, that's that's the best way to get at me. If you guys like these videos that I'm pumping out, man, you know, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know, give it a thumbs down. I would appreciate a thumbs up though. Um, and if you're new to the channel, man, welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel. Consider subscribing right quick and hitting that bell, you know, because I, I I rock out and when I rock out I post a video and you guys will know that I'm posting the video so you can uh watch it right quick. But um right quick man before I go to bed, I, I came across this video and it sort of teed me off a little bit because of what was going on in it. And it kind of reminded me of the encounter that I had uh, several years ago. Now, you guys know about Uber, right? Uber? Yeah. Well, yours truly, I used to be an Uber driver back in the day. Yes, I, I did Uber. I, I did it. Um, I did it for about two months. And only, and wonder why I stopped was because they started messing with the money when when they first came to Cleveland the money was good I mean it was like it was like a dollar 25 cent a mile and I was doing good miles I was averaging I say about a week I was averaging about about two grand about 1500 two grand a week Within that two months, I made I made about twenty five grand within within those two months, man. So the money was good, but then they started, you know, chipping off the money. It went from went from a dollar twenty five down to a dollar ten. Then it went from a dollar ten down to ninety cent. Then it went from ninety cent down to eighty cent, and then I think. I think when I got out of it, it was at like 75 cent or 60 cent a mile or some shit like that. I I, I couldn't I couldn't mess with that, man. I had a, you know, I was doing Uber in my truck. You know, I got a I got a, a Ford I got a Ford F-150 Platinum Edition. A couple a couple of issues that I had with these uh, passengers. Boy, oh boy. I mean, I, I I could probably fill up a book. Check out check out my channel. Uh, you know, scroll down the videos because I got I got maybe about a handful of videos with the time that I was doing over. But this uh, particular 
But this particular Uber video that I've seen, or that I'm about to watch, it's about this dude, right? He's he's in the, he's in the, he's in this dude's car. He's being a total a total a total asshole, man. I mean, this guy this guy held this dude up for about a good 45 minutes. Why is my cursor not acting right? Uh, he was in the car for about a good 45 minutes, man, and he wouldn't get out. He was be he, he got in the man's car and what pissed me off about it was he called the cops, right? He called the cops and told the dispatcher that he's fearing for his life inside this man's car. Now I'm sitting here, now I already watched the video, but I'm sitting here, I'm saying that, dude. If you're fearing for your life, why don't you get out of the car? Let's watch this video together right quick. Gotta rehearse my song. <laughs> get out of my car now! Let's watch it. Avenue and um, I am handicapped and an Uber driver is refusing to transport me and he's threatened me too so it's uh all right let me stop it right there let me stop it right there right quick he just said that the Uber driver refused to refused to take him to where he needs to go and the Uber driver is threatening him. Now, this dude is sitting in the man's front seat, okay? You sitting in the front seat with the seat belt on, on the phone with the cops saying that the Uber driver is threatening. Why not get out of the car? Get out of my car! I mean, we, we could eliminate all of that by getting out of the car. Alright, the sound effects is coming from the <laughs> it's coming from the guy that edited the video. I don't know. He says his computer won't work, but I gave him the destination address and he will not take me to it. I'm sorry? Okay. Please expedite this. I'm I'm afraid. Afraid he'll be a attack me. Okay. He's afraid that he's going to attack him. Now the guy, now the Uber driver is is recording this. The man over here fearing for his life with the seatbelt on. Now let me ask you a question: If you're fearing for your life, wouldn't you run in the opposite direction? If somebody's threatening you, would you sit there or would you get out of the car? Get out! Leave your of comments my car below. Now! Talk to me. Let's let's start a discussion about this right quick. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. You told me you were a lawyer. Yeah. Okay. Just I want to let you know I'm recording all this on the phone. Oh, right that's now. fine. That's you it. are a thief. Okay. That's fine. I hope you're a citizen. I mean, dude, you sitting in, if that was me, you sitting in my car, talking sh This, the, the, the Uber driver, much respect to him, man, because he, he has a lot of paws right now. A lot of paws, all right? If that was me, if that was me, he would have been, yoked up out of the car all right some of these uber passengers really think that they're entitled to shit. you see what i'm saying 
You sitting in this man's car. Get out of the car. Order another Uber. Get out of my car now. You pick on someone handicapped. I told you I want to do the ride. I told you I would take you. Just please put your I destination. I told you I gave you my address. There is no destination. I'm sorry. I gave you my destination. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, stop. Now look at that. Look at that. Look at that face right here, man. Look at that face. Look at it. Woo! And he, he just got finished telling the cop or the dispatcher that he's threatening. But look at that man's face right here. Look, look at that. Look at that. Is that threatening? That's threatening. That's threatening to me. You, you threatening me. You threatening me. Well, let's wait for the police officer. Well, well, yeah, all right. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hello. All right. Here's the destination. Here's here's the uh, the app and the address that the man supposedly had gave him. And it looks like from point A, go around the corner and then come right back around. Usually, you put the address in the in the Uber app to where you want to go to. You put it in the you you put it in the app, and it relays all that information over to the driver that gets it. So that by the time the driver gets there, he will already have the destination that you're going to. Back in the day, Uber technology didn't have that. You were actually when you got in the car, they would tell you where they was going. They'd be like, you know, we're going to such and such and such and such. You know, you pick up, you put the address where you need to be picked up at, and then put the address where you need to be dropped off at. Yes, uh, and this guy will not uh, t transport me to... Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, of course no weapons. What kind of vehicle are you guys in? It's an Uber. I don't know what it is. It's a silver car. I will help you. It's going to Nissan Sentra. What kind of car are you driving? Sir, it's called Nissan Sentra. Nissan Sentra. Silver color. Silver. Okay, thank you. You are picking on me because I'm handicapped. I'm no, 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 please. Yes, you are. What yes. other reason you have for that? I would love to, I would love to take you, but there's no ad address. There's I no gave address. you my address. Okay. Now, how is how is he picking on him? You're you're sitting in the car, seatbelt on, and you you turn to the dude and says you're picking on a handicap. I I can't even see where he's handicapped at. All right, he says he don't have no legs or whatever. But how how is the Uber driver? Picking on this dude, sitting in the car with the seatbelt on, with the camera on his face. How is he picking with? And I showed you here where my address was listed. Okay, well, do me a big favor if you don't mind. Why we don't wait until the police officer will come? Like this, we like this. Everything will stay nice and calm. Like what? Because I want to resolve it. It's okay. I would love to take you to your destination. I have no problem uh -huh. to take you. Just like you see, it says Wisconsin Avenue, there is no address to take you to. That's not my fault. I got the reply that you would pick me up with your license plate and everything. So, uh... Actually, it is his fault. Alright, it's his fault because he didn't put the right address in the destination where he needs to go. If he wanted, if he wants to resolve this, all he had to do is get his out of the car. Call up another Uber and go on about his business. Instead of holding this poor man up for 45 minutes or so, that's 45, 45 minutes in an Uber can attest to at least a hundred dollars right probably could have did two or three rides at about 
twenty dollars a piece, especially if it's surgeon. If it's surgeon, it would have been more. Seems like the GPS show and like the arrival at the same exact place. I would love to do. So we live in a world now where, where, where uh, GPS. Look at this. Boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, you boom, see boom. it. We slowly like, we go uh, come back to the place and. Okay, I will wait. I'm okay. That's what teed me off right there. Right here. He's opening the door and taking the seatbelt off. But yet, still sitting in this man's car, wasting this man's time. I'm telling you, this Uber driver got patience out the man because if that was me if that was me and I know me I know me I would have got out of the car and if he would have thought that I, I would have picked it up and pop him right out of the car that's what I would have did I'm not you man mm -hmm. I have no problem but like I told you I've been always loyal to my job, loyal to my customers, and I will take you. Loyal to my customers? That you will transport a handicapped I will man. Take you. I will you take you. Everything will, checks out on my screen. I will take you whatever you want to. I have no problem then doing take that. take me home. I will take you, sir, but the problem, we have no address, no arrival. You know what? You are sure to lose your job by doing what you want to okay, do. Okay, thank you. Right. I really appreciate right. that. Yeah. Thank you. I'm on what, how, how, how is he going to lose his job? Every, you know what? I, I, that's my, I freaking hate when people say that. You know what I'm saying? You, you get that in retail. You get that in, in, in customer service. All right. And I'm, oh man. Oh man. I own, I owned it my own. Uh, roadside assistance company. That's dealing with the public. Alright. I I got a whole lot of people that you can't satisfy. You you can't satisfy everybody. In that in in that profession I couldn't satisfy getting in the car. I couldn't satisfy changing the tire. I couldn't satisfy getting the car started. I couldn't satisfy bringing you some gas. But yet, since I couldn't satisfy you, they always love to say, well, you're gonna lose your job. You're gonna lose your job. You're gonna lose your job. I, and, I, and I straight up look at that person like, dude, really? Like, like you're God. And you you gonna you you got that power for me to lose my job. See what the people didn't know in that profession. Not only that I was the road tech, but I was the owner. They were actually, believe it or not, I had this one lady, irate lady, and she had a flat tire. She had she had a donut. That was up under the uh, up under the caravans. The caravans was notorious for the uh, for the chain to be super rusted, and you couldn't crank the, the 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 tire down. You couldn't crank it down. It was so it was so rusted that you couldn't crank it down. And I tell the young lady, I said, "Hey, ma'am, I said I'm sorry, but I won't be able to change your tire today because you know you can't. I can't get the tire down." Oh, well, what do you mean you can't get the tire down? Well, I can't get the tire down. It won't crank. I mean, it's cranking, but the tire is stuck up under there. It's frozen or whatever. And I showed her that. I showed her that. And I was like, that's how you do it. No, no, no. You, I, I couldn't satisfy her for nothing. But, but people yeah. kill me. Oh, my God. People kill me with that. Uh... I'll have your job for this or you gonna get fired dude you can't get me fired all right especially if I'm the owner of the company you can't fire me 
or get me fired. Just do remember, I'm here to give you a ride mm -hmm. right, yeah. and take you to, de to your destination safe and do whatever it will take to get you home. Just I need you to help me to give me address, that's all. I have I no problem. I gave you the address. It's okay then. It's in here too, I showed you. I have no problem doing it. Look, you see the arrival, it's that little black and white flag. That's your computer error. And it's not even Uber's fault, it's your cheap. I've never seen anyone have this sort of display. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry there. there. So he, he says it's not even Uber's fault. It's not Uber's fault. It's not even, it's not even the driver's fault. It's your fault, dude. Your fault for not putting the address in the app. And he over here talking about he ain't never seen the display. Dude, come on now. This is 2017. Everybody knows what an iPad is. Or a tablet. Come on, man. The, my mom's is 65 years old and she has a tablet. She know what a tablet is. You, you want to sit there and be like, I've never seen a display. Like, you lost. Really sorry. I'm standing out for every handicapped person in the city and in this country. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. I'm That's with right. you. I would stand up for that, too. Good. Well. I'm with you. We are on the same page. You least. just didn't want to take me home because there's handicapped. I would not. No. I would, no. Help, no. I would help you. I would take you to wherever you want to. No, I heard you say that before you turned on the phone. No, I never said that. Yeah, well, yeah. you can say whatever you want to. I mean, at that point. This man looking like, <laughs> I, you know, I understand he he's handicapped, but dude looking like Ebenezer Scrooge right about now. You know, I'm, I don't know what you want me to say. It's, uh, I'm here just to give you, you a ride. You could me home by now. You know that? I know. I cannot take from you cash. Cash, I cannot do it. I will lose my job. It's against Uber policy. You're going to lose it's your job now. I 100% assure you. Okay, thank right? you so much. Good. And I'll let Lyft know. And, um, you know, right now, those are the only places in town that I know of, anyway. Well, there's some others now. There's two others now. Uh, there's Uber. There's Lyft. There are a couple others, too. And there's uh, Bolivia. It's the yeah, one in East. I mean, look, look at this, man. Look at this driver. Oh man, this, oh my God, this driver is so cool, calm, and collective. I need to know this man's name. I mean, I need to know his name, man. He's so calm, cool, and collective. He's like, look, there's Uber, there's Lyft, there's a couple of others. You, you let him know. He also mentioned something about money, and he's right. Uber, it's against Uber policy for the drivers to take cash from the passengers because it's supposed to be paid through the app. And he must have offered it to him. And that's why it's, it's such discombobulation right now. He's upset because the guy didn't take his, his money. I can't see why. Then he tried to flip the script and say, well, it's not my address is is in the system and it's not see and one more after uh, that. Uh, i don't know that's all i remember for now that's fine stand enough for handicapped people all over the world you you could stand up and I mean stand up and get out of the car for every handicapped people around the world too. Get out of the man's car. Hello, I called about ten minutes ago and the police have not responded. I do not feel safe. In my current situation, twenty three, just north of twenty three eleven Wisconsin Avenue. No, I just feel increasingly afraid. It's, uh, uh... All right, stop. See, this, this is a, 
this is the reason why this is this is one of the reasons the money was was the main reason but this is another reason why I got I stopped driving the Uber alright he just lied y'all he just he just lied to the dispatcher I'm I'm feeling increasingly scared uh, uh, I'm afraid for my life and I'm in fear of my life the dude just got finished sitting in the car having having a conversation with the dude. If you're in fear of your life, man, would you sit there and and have a conversation with the dude? You'll be trying to get up out of out of the situation, right? You'll be trying to get up out of the situation. I don't think I don't think the driver was was threatening at all. I don't think he was threatening it. I don't think he was confrontational. He wasn't even, he, he wasn't even, he was paused all that time. He was calm, cool, and paused all that time. And he's going to get back on the phone with the dispatcher and, and try to hurry up and rush uh, the cops there so that they can hurry up and get there. How long do you think it'll be before they're here? Uh, okay. Well, I wanted to check back with you until... Can you stay on the phone with me until they arrive? Well... I do not feel safe. I can't. Okay. The dispatcher... I, I can imagine was going through the dispatcher's head right about now. Well, I'm handicapped. I've got one leg. I got in a uh, an Uber that I called, and uh, you know, he declined to take me to my destination that the Uber had approved. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. So they'll be here shortly. Thank you. All right. Keep her in mind now, and this is terrible, really. And, uh, you have no basis for not transporting me. I, I can't say it no more, no less. I really can't. What I can say is, you're in the man's... I, I, I'm going to say it one more time because I've been saying it throughout this video. You're in the man's car. It's, it's not get your out car. Of my car now! You're not entitled to anything in that man's car. You're not entitled to that man taking you anywhere. If he didn't, if he, let's say, if he didn't want to take you, he has that right not to take you, regardless of if Uber approved or anything. Uber can't approve shit. Uber can't approve you to, to ride in my car. I can only approve you to ride in my car. If I feel uncomfortable with you riding in my car, then you got to get out. You know what I mean? What? What you're, you're driving? Yeah, you did something wrong. You hold me up from making money. Uh, Mr. Charles, I'm trying to do my job. I'm trying to help you as much as I can. You refuse to, it's no, you refuse, you don't know how you pull your... Alright, y'all, here, here's the cop. That's, this the cop right here. Now, check out how fast this man get up out this dude's car. And the cop, oh my god, I, I, I can imagine what the cop is thinking right now. I know exactly what I did. Okay. Hello? Hello. Good Please evening, officer. Help me here. I'm handicapped. I've got one leg. I can hardly walk. I ordered an Uber. Mm -hmm. And this guy came in response. And now he won't transport me because he's having some sort of computer problem. Okay. I can't get out here now. You know, we want to... Just let me get out. I and I was actually afraid he was going to attack me from the way he talked. From the way he talked. 
listen to the, listen to this to the to the lies that this man is saying. I mean, mind you, he do got it all on video. All right, and it's a look. I'm about to tell you guys right now. If you drive an Uber and you don't have a camera in your car, you're a fool. All right, I I you know what? When I when I drove Uber back in the day, I was one of the first ones to have a dash cam in and outside of my car. All right, I had this one Uber passenger that got in the car over here talking about well, it's a privacy issue with you having a camera in the car. No, it's not a privacy issue. You're in my car, and that's my camera. So if you feel that you have a privacy issue, then you need to get out. If a passenger get in my car and claims that I did something that I didn't know that I that I know that I didn't do, you know, you you're trying to take you you trying to take that power out of my hands to protect myself. I'm not going to do that. You know, well, it's a it's a it's a privacy issue. With no, it's not a privacy issue. You're on camera. You lose that privacy when you step through the door. You're in my private space now, so you lose all privacy. So if anything that goes on in this car. It's going to be recorded. If you're an Uber driver or any driver that drives for Lyft and use your own car and you don't have a camera, you're a fool. You better get one. Let's finish up. It's only a couple of more minutes. I'm sorry? I did order Uber. No, I showed it to him. I showed my pickup point, which was up here, and I pictured my destination. And of course, it did not have my destination. Where it, was, it was him? Yes. Okay. Him, right? Okay. Okay. Well, what seems to be the problem, sir? Good evening, sir. Hey, hello. Ouch. Sorry, I have trouble. Sorry. Alright, so, let's see. Like I said, man. Like I said, I, I, I wanted to make this video dealing with people and mixing my attitude wasn't a good mix it really was it wasn't a good mix so i hope you guys enjoyed well i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm apologizing in advance so sorry about the echo if you guys uh if you guys like the video definitely thumbs up if you don't like the video thumbs down if you're new to the channel if you're new to the channel consider subscribing make sure you hit that bell so that you'll know when I come on you know when I come in when I come in and and do the damn thing on YouTube